found two tigers and uh, I was getting a bit fed up with this one. It's not nearly finished, I've got ages to do, hours to do on it, but uh, I am doing the video on this, but I'm also, I also wanted to do a cat. And uh, I've just started it, it's, this is the, the beginning, and uh, I'm zooming in on that, and I've got a zoom here. Yeah, so, um, I've got a hell of a long way to go, but I'm doing the eyes and nose, because I think once you get the nose and the eyes reasonable, uh, you're nearly done. Uh, the rest of it's not cake, I mean fair is not easy to do, I still haven't got the, the hang of fair, but anyway, I'm, I, that's the one I'm going for, but the eyes are different on it, and I, I wanted a, I wanted yellowy eyes, I didn't, I didn't want them grey eyes. So I changed that and I took that bring the rings off. There must have been circles in the lights they were taking him with to catch his attention. But uh, I've changed them slightly and done my own little little references which are in a similar thing. So anyway, I've learned a couple of little techniques which I I'll show you later on. Um, and this is watercolour and uh, Water uh, and pencils mixed, not water pencils. They're uh, uh, Faber Castell. I love Faber Castell. I, I, I sharpened one by accident, and I took it right down in me, the pencil sharpener. Right? I don't know if you can see this, but I got. I'll just, I'll just back up on this. I'm not going to get. I got one hell of a point on that. And uh, it didn't phase it at all. I was amazed. I thought this is going to crack, but it didn't. And uh, the, the pencil sharpener I've got, I bought an expensive one. I thought I'd, I'd buy what they call the best. And, um, this was um, it's made in Germany in M and R, but it's got a special name. I forget what it is now. Not just M and R. There was something else it was called. But I'm going to get some more blades now. I'm going to get some. These blades feel a bit. A bit sticky, although they're still working. Um, I've had it quite a while, and it's got a number on it and, and everything. So, um, and it's as heavy as it's solid brass. So there's one for big pencils, and the one that I'm using for this, this one, and it gives me a superb point. Uh, so I'll, I'll order some new new things for that because I've been hacking them by hand, and it takes too long, especially when you get in the throes of things. I know why people have got pencil sharpeners now because they don't want to be sharpening the bloody pencils every two seconds with by hand you, you want to get in and, and get the points on thingy. Anyway it's doing it's do me quite well I've got quite nice thin lines and I've got a long way to go but this is my first cat. <laughs> I haven't called him Snoopy no. Anyway I'll stop there I'm quite pleased with myself so uh, but uh, I haven't forgotten that one I'm going to finish that one and I've got another one to do isn't it? I've got another tiger I'd like to do and I might be finished on tigers, on them anyway. I'm getting a bit fed up with tigers. That's what I say, I do two or three things and I get really fed up. I'll do two or three cats and get fed up. I like change, I like I like alteration. And anyway, I haven't got the eyes right, they're still not right. I'm still struggling on eyes and noses, but I'm getting a little bit better. And uh, it's realism after. And there's a girl called Yaz... Yaz Yasmina, I think her name is Yasmina Suza, Suzak. Yeah, Yasmina Suzak. And uh, she's uh, she's one hell of a painter there. Eh? She does them in double quick time. What takes me ages to do Mind you, there's a difference in ages. She's a lot more spry than I am, but I don't mind. I'm, I follow, follow her, uh, her, her on the thing. And there's another one, there's, there's another girl. Um, an American girl. I just forget her name now. She, um, she's got her own studio anyway. She's very good as well. It's, that's, that's a loads of them. Like there's a there's a there's a Welsh lad, um, a Welsh wildlife artist. I forget his name now, but he's really really good as well. There's so many good artists out out there, uh, and they've all got they all paint differently. They all they all paint the same things, but paint in them in a different way. Now, I don't mean to use different thingies, but they do it in a different manner. Anyway, I'll stop there and uh, call it.
call it a day and uh, I'll get on with my tie. I will finish the tie I will finish that. But I'm trying, it's the techniques I'm trying now. It's, just, it's what gets me excited, techniques. It's something that you can do to make something happen, which uh, is frustrating if you don't know how to do it. And uh, if it's working out properly, I'll, I'll explain what I've done and why I've done it and everything else. But I had to have my little pot and use it again. So I'm using uh, alcohol on this. I haven't used alcohol so far, but I will do when I get to the main washes. And uh, so, and uh, the other thing was that I've thrown it away now, but uh, I used baby oil, and I, I wiped some of the baby oil on a piece of paper, and it, it was still on there. So I ain't too fussy about that. It's the, the, the mark of the oil was still there, the grease mark, like it was like a butter mark, uh, and I didn't like it. Uh, that would be on the paper forever. Uh, so I wasn't too fussy about that. So I'm going to stick with me the alcohol. I might try that new tapes thing and see what that does. Uh, I'm going to try tapes on a bit of paper and see if that wipes the same, whether that evaporates. But this has been on there for two days now and it still hasn't evaporated. So, And uh, I have mixed um, baby oil and thingy together. And uh, the alcohol evaporates but the I'll just get a picture of this you can see the you can see that rather thick sludgy stuff in the bottom that's the baby oil it's still there um, that doesn't evaporate so I, I don't like the idea of things that don't evaporate um, when I finished I could be wrong I don't know it's anyway I didn't use a lot so I'm hoping it won't affect anything and some people swear by it but I'm not fussy about things that leave an oily mark left behind Anyway, I'll stop there, and uh, I'll just say I'm very pleased with myself tonight, and that's about as far as I'm going hard enough now, and uh, I do thank uh, Jasmina Suzak, and uh, the, the, the Welsh lad, J John Jones or somebody else, they're all called Jones, aren't they, in Wales, and uh, there was another girl as well, I forget her name, I don't, there's lots of them, there's loads of them that help you, and uh, just stick to it, just stick to it, and you'll, you'll get, as long as you're happy, it doesn't matter. And I'm happy because I'm getting my results. Anyway, I'll stop there and finish this one. I tried to follow uh, a girl called, well, oh, she might be a married woman, I don't know what she is. I couldn't see her properly, but she didn't look too old and uh, the hands were very young. You can see the liver spots through my gloves on my hands. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I was very interested in her. She was uh, an extremely uh, good artist. Uh, uh, Jasmina Suzak is one, and the other one is um, Karen Brook. Oh, it's a funny name. It sounds German to me or Austrian. Bromelsick, Bromelsick, B R O E M M E L S I C K, Bromelsick. I hope I pronounced it right. But she's the best graphic artist I've seen for cats. And I tried to emulate her, and I never even got close. <laughs> I never even got close. But uh, I've been cursing and swearing, and that nose has been, it's had uh, rhinoplasty on it about 16 times. <laughs> and this is a mixture of um, uh, watercolour paints, good quality, because in the old one, my old watercolour paints, gouache white, <laughs> Faber Castell paint uh, for pencils, coloured pencils, and uh, Derwent. Uh, coloured pencils. I look, they're, they're the two that I like. Derwent and, and there's another one, um, Karen or something. I don't know what it is. It's a special pencil. It's, it, the only one I'm interested in is the white. Anyway, I've been struggling. I've been struggling trying to get these whiskers and things with a white. And I sent for a gel one, which Jasmina Suzak has been using. Uh, 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 something gel. It's a white gel pen, I think. Anyway, a, a Pago is it a Pagoma white gel pen? Anyway, I've sent for that, and when I get it, I'll explain what it is properly. I can't remember what it is just at the moment. But uh, 
I'm really trying with this cat and it's took me hours upon hours or layers upon layers. I suppose this is what it takes, but they don't say that. They don't say it takes X amount of hours. <laughs> And I've got a, I've got a long, long way to go. It's so dark that the left one is to the right one, and uh, I haven't even done his ear yet. <laughs> but uh, I, I even forgot to put in the stages. I mean, I, I don't do speed speed drawings, but um, oh, I've got me I've got me uh, thing on. Yeah, and uh, I've got a hell of a lot to learn. <laughs> I've got a lot to learn. But, uh, I don't show these to anybody. And the only, the only reason I stick them on YouTube is because they're a captive audience. And if they want to watch it, they can. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> but uh, I don't make them do it. And uh, if they watch it by accident, I'm pleased. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to add these bits and pieces together. And uh, I haven't even finished my tiger yet. I've got a couple of tigers I want to do, and I've got a bird I want to do as well. I've got, um, I love sparrows. I used to paint a lot of sparrows. But uh, this fair business is, uh, it's killing me. <laughs> I haven't got it. I, I really haven't got it. That's comical, that cat, but I, I, I can do dozens of these, so I'll just keep going and going and going until I catch this uh, Karen. Rumble 6 uh, technique she's got. It's that fast, I ain't got time to catch it. Um, she uses a, a pen, uh, not a pen, she uses a, a pencil and then a colour pencil, then she uses a couple of colour pencils, then she uses um, which she does a technique with and how she puts it on, and then she applies some, uh, I call it tapes, I don't know what the name is, it's not tapes, it's a special brand. Colourless, smellless and colourless I think. It's the same type of thing but it's for, for colouring in, blending. And uh, she did a bit of blending with whites and things which I haven't done. And uh, it, it was too fast to take on. And I don't know if she's got a DVD out on which you can buy or whatever. To sh or you can find out whatever it is you can do. I think she's a technical artist. Uh, but anyway, they're both very, very good. And uh, I was quite pleased with the, with the results that they've done. But um, I bet they were as well. <laughs> well, she's only got three out at the moment, uh, Karen. Karen's got three in. And uh, the other girl, Jasmine, has got about... Oh, she's got dozens, Jasmine, then. She's more... Jasmine is more... more, more polished. She's, well, not polished, but she's quicker. I mean, my polish is quicker. They've both got their own styles and everything. They're both really good. But at the moment, I'm, they're the only ones I'm watching, so uh, whatever I'm doing, I'm copying them. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop that and add it onto the front bit to see. And then I'll add it. When I've finished it, I'll do it. She says, Karen does black backgrounds. I might even try that. But I'm frightened to do anything in case I mess it up. <laughs> mess everything up. I mess that nose up. That's a clown's nose up. That's not, that's not a real nose. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I'll stop. Bit of a change round today. I'm doing my tiger again now, and uh, I've been on it ages. I'm a bit frustrated with what I've been doing, but I, I don't seem to have got anywhere. <laughs> I've been working ages now, I've not got anywhere, but that's the uh, name of the game, I suppose. Um, yeah, I put him, the pussycat, to one side. So I'm not doing two at a time, I'm just doing one at a time, it's just that I've, I like a little rest from one and you come back and see it again and uh, I don't know whether I'm doing right or wrong, I should stick to one and just finish, I don't know. But I'll continue and uh, get a bit tired now so I'll stop. Yeah. Well, well, I've just added a little bit more to the uh, the cat, and uh, 
it doesn't look much, but there's a good hour and a half's work uh, extra from what you saw in the last what they call them. And I'm still fiddling. I'm not, I, I, I don't move very fast now anyway. <laughs> but uh, I'm putting it down gently and I'm going to put one on top of the other and top of the other. I'm doing my own... Uh, this is my own sort of method of how I put fair on. I've got no idea whether it's working or not. I'm not quite sure. And... Uh, I've been trying out um, a couple of things. <sighs> I got this thing, which is the. Oh, I'll get it in a minute. It's a perm, perm, pergamano, pergamano. That's it. And it's uh, a white gel pencil, and. Uh, I was a bit thingy with it when I first got it. I was a bit annoyed with it when I first got it. And it's a gel pencil. And uh, it has a thing on. And uh, it's not too it's not too powerfully white. Uh, and I tried it on my things. And what you've got to do is put it on very gently. Because otherwise the wax goes on to the end of the pen. Nobody says that. Now, I've never heard anybody just say that. But it goes on the end of the pen and it sticks. And you, you get really frustrated. But... If you do it gently and you do it up in one direction, if you go, if you do, don't don't do it like this, do it this way, like a roll, so the roller ball can work, and very gently, and keep cleaning your, uh, I keep cleaning my pen end off on on this piece of card here, because it isn't all that powerful. I mean, the the thing that the gel itself is not all that thingy, not all that white. I don't know if you can see that, but it isn't all that white. And uh, this isn't what I want. I'm not really satisfied with it, but it does work if you use it in the correct manner. Uh, I'm frustrated with whites. Anyway, that's the second part. Uh, third, is it third part of me? Cat? I don't know. I'm just adding it on so that I can put. I'll probably put this on YouTube just to show people what I've been doing. And uh, that's for me cat one, uh, Tiger. But uh, that, I'll, I'll do. I'm still fiddling about with that one. I've, I've done a little bit more, but not much. I got a bit fed up with it. So I started doing something else. And um, the other thing I got to do was I paid £19 out for these. And uh, what they are is the Marco Renoir Fine Art 48 coloured pencils from China. And uh, it comes in a tin box like this. This is a tin box it comes in. And it's got two layers. But uh, the packaging was horrendous. It came from China. And it, <coughs> this is the packaging it came in, and how it got through, I've got it's just it's just a, a plastic plastic bag, and it's a tin box, and how it got through <coughs> post office, our post office, a GPO, what we want to call them, without being damaged, I've got no idea, but. It came through without being damaged. I thought the packaging was very, very, uh, very, very poor. But uh, I was surprised with the pencils. I've only tried one yellow. And I tried a Faber, -Ca Faber Castell pencil with um, one of Marco's pencils. Marco Renoir pencil. And uh, I keep moving around. And I defy you to tell which one is what, which one is which there and I use the same amount of strokes and uh, believe it or not the one on the left is a Fabric Castell and the one on the right is the Marco Renoir and I'm very pleased with it the only thing I'm not pleased with any of them is the whites and uh, I found that the best white is a Stabilo and uh, the Stabilo pen or pencil colour pencil you buy these separately, I think they're from Dealer, I'm not sure. But this is a Stabilo Carbofello 100. And it's a bit scratching, it looks a bit chalky, but it gives a really good white. And you can't get that with a Faber Castell. Not really. Look, that's a Faber Castell. I'm doing the best, and I didn't even try that other one. I'm keep going, I'll keep going, I'll keep going. 
and it's no, there's no comparison. That one is about half as times again as much. See if I can put the two together. This is the Carbothello. You could spend all day with the, with the that's a Carbothello one. But you can see that the um, the two are different. I, I swear by Carbothello. Is it Carbothello? I'm not quite sure. Carbothello, yeah, Carbothello. It's a 1400 by 100. And uh, I think they're brilliant. If you want whites, if you want sort of greys, it's go for the others. I don't like uh, Faber Castell's whites anyway. And uh, well, I think all the whites are the same. I, I tried the white from this one, from the Marco one, Marco Renoir. And uh, that's even worse. That's even worse than. Uh, That's even worse than Faber Castell. There's not many good. The only one I haven't tried is the there's one there's a Swiss one which I haven't tried. Anyway, that's it. That's my mind's over. Um, yeah, I'm pleased pleased with the box. I'm not going to do a thing on them because I don't I don't know anything about them. I, I haven't even used them yet. But uh, the whites are the things that interest me because that's what I want. But there's two layers. I waited quite a while for them, but um, and the points are quite the decent points. They're them silly little points that you get. They they give you a decent point, which is what you need. Um, they're a round round pencil, and they feel a bit thinner than all the other ones. I don't know how thick they are, what's inside them, but uh, they they feel like they feel quite juicy actually. I'll, I'll give my opinion, I mean, that's all I can do, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not a specialist or anything, I'm just starting out in colour pencils, but, my favourites are Faber-Castell, and uh, I'm going off Derwent, I've only, I, when I look at Derwent, I've only been using a couple of their pencils anyway, I, I did say they were my favourite ones, but it's only because I had them, and uh, I hardly use them, really, for, except for a couple of colours, in fact, the ones here I'm, I've been using is grey, because I haven't got a grey, that's one, and uh, that one's a, a particular brown, which I, I, I just picked out. And the, three, three, three of them, out of the whole range of 24. So I haven't been really using the Derwents, but I have been using the Faber-Castell to, to all my paintings. So really it's the Faber-Castell that's the, the one that's been doing these paintings here. This is all Faber-Castell, hardly anything to do with Derwent. And uh, I'm going to do one purely with the Renoir and see what that's like but uh, they're 19 quid and I think they were about 30 odd for 36 so they look polished and everything else but I'm, I, I don't know what the difference is between the two they seem a thinner pencil whether they go down faster or they're not as, they're not as thick they, 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 I don't know how far they are across they're supposed to be about four milli out there, and these are, they look about three, three and a half, or something like that. Anyway, I'm not, I, I, I'm not doing that. But oh, Carbothello pencil is is the big thing. That's the one. And uh, this Perg Pergamano, I will get the name right. Could never find the name. Pergamano white gel um, that's that, that's acting okay for the home but it isn't it still isn't doing what I want I, I want something with a real thin real good white and a real thin line that goes on wax and I, I just haven't found anything I don't want to be thinking how to use it utilize it before I before I had enough paint as it is <laughs> so you're learning about all the you're learning about the materials you're using before you and also out of out of paint out of paint as well. Anyway, I'll stop there and waffling. So I'll give it a rest. Well I just forget what stage this is for me cat. I think it's stage five. And um this is as far as I've got. I'm still trying to get the colours right. Um I've been trying also I've been seeing that many techniques. I don't, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. 
but uh, I'm just following Flogger now, I'm just doing my own little bits and pieces, what I feel. Um, I'm just doing my own things now. And uh, It's took me, I've had a day off actually, I've had a, well, a couple of days off really, I haven't, uh, I had my son here yesterday and uh, I didn't do anything then, so, and I had a, I've just had a couple of hours now on it, although it probably doesn't look like it, I just finished the, starting to finish the forehead and the, that here, and I've been using tortillions to rub in, because I wanted to soften it, I, 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 I forget about the tortillions, those are there, there. Uh, they're called tortillions and butt heads, I think, but, but, but pencils or something. Uh, but I haven't used the big fat ones, I've just used the thingy ones. And the tortillions are the ones with the holes in, I think. They're the ones with the, ones with the holes in, but I've got the, the solid. I've been using the solid one, and um, I just use it for anything. I've, I've had black on that one, and then I've used it on brown, so it's just for rubbing anyway, so... And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to polish them up on a bit of sandpaper later on and clean them up I suppose. But that's as far as I got in my cart anyway, just to just to add on and uh, I don't know whether I'm getting there or not. Anyway I'll keep going and not I'll stop there and uh, I'll when I've done a bit more I'll add that. <laughs>